It's a great day and a fabulous day to go geocaching. Of course, any day is a great day to go geocaching, even if it's raining. We're going to go off to an island right back here in the St. Lawrence River. Better still, we've got our friends with us today. But yeah. Not, not just our friends. They're also Cache Canada patrons. We've oh. got Comjan and Sky 53. <laughs> awesome of you guys to join us today. Thank you. You're welcome. That's so unusual to have two patrons at one time mm -hmm. and actually go out geocaching with some of our patients. This is awesome. Let's get going on the yeah. water. Got to go out 1.23 kilometers to the first cache. I just saw a fish jump. It was this big. It jumped all the way out of the water. How big was it? It was this big. This big? Yeah. We're approaching Dalker Island in Lac St. Louis, and we're here mainly to get an earth cache, but there's also a multi and a handful of uh, traditionals on the island, so we'll see if we can get those. But it's the earth cache that we're after as the main target. We're on the island to get the earth cache Lac St. Louis, but there is a significance to this earth cache. The significance is that this is a one five earth cache. Well, how many are there? There are only 62 one five earth caches worldwide. Ooh. And there were only 16 one five earth caches in Canada and 16 one five earth caches in the United States. And this is the closest one to where we live. Thank goodness. So uh, <laughs> we're here to get it. The next closest one to us is actually in Kentucky. Oh, yeah. So right now we can't get into the States because of the COVID. So here we are on Lac St. Louis to get an earth cache. Not much left of the ruins, but a corner, one wall, and a window. And that's pretty neat. Besides coming to get the earth cache, the uh, CO says to make sure you check out the ruins. And they're pretty neat. So what makes a 1-5 earth cache so interesting to us? Besides the fact that there are only 16 in Canada, or 62 worldwide, we don't have a 1-5 earth cache yet. If you've been watching our channel for a while, you'll know that we're trying to fill an earth cache fizzy completely by just doing it with earth caches. And you can see from the grid that we're missing a 1-5 earth cache. We've already got 71 squares filled towards a full fizzy grid based on just earth caches and with this one earth cache we'll be up to 72 earth caches to fill a fizzy grid on our way to 81. So we've attempted to look for the multi that's here, but we're pretty sure that it's missing. There's about six uh, DNF logs going back over a year. If you compare this picture of me standing at this tree to one that was posted in 2014, that's six years ago, you can see how the tree split uh, right up. Uh, there was one going up by her head and one going to the side. is split wide open. So you can see how a ground zero can change over the years. So first physical cache we've encountered, we're going to have to post as a DNF. Mm -hmm. She's not fooling around. She went right to the cache, found it, signed herself in. One down. We got one traditional. That's awesome. Log signed. Quite the bushwhack to that one. Ah, some farm animals. That was a total bushwhack. There is no trail, lots of spiders, and now there's some bugs where the bugs weren't there earlier on. So, okay, 
good? <sighs> 20 August 22nd. Okay, we've got uh, how many caches did we get? Three? Four. Two. Three. Three caches on the Four. island? Okay. Okay, so we've got three caches on the island plus the earth cache. So that makes four caches done. Now we're back in the canoe and on our way for some more. She went in and she got it, and we're sitting out here uh, battling the waves, and I'm getting beat up on the rocks, and that's just the way it is. Okay. On my way to this last cache, there is this amazing fireplace. I see it in the sun. Found it! Calm jam? What do you think? Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, except for tipping in the water and getting all wet. That, but that. Now you've got a fun story to tell. Yeah, I know. I and know. unfortunately, we didn't have the camera running. I know, thank goodness. <laughs> so, that, so it was fun, except for that? Except for that, it was fantastic. All the caches? It's fantastic, awesome. yep. It was really good. Fantastic. Yeah, thank you so much. For yeah. that. Oh, you're more than welcome. I thank you guys for inviting yeah. me. Awesome. And our other guest today, Sky53. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Another patron. What did you think of the outing today? Well, if you like going through pond weed, Algae, mosquitoes. She volunteered. Log rolling and limboing, yeah. keeping in shape, but being with Cache Canada, who wouldn't go? Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. And where, where will, will geocaching, geocaching take you? Take you?